Today I'm giving this a test. Ready to go. That was a little bit of a test on the dynamic range of this camera, the Panasonic EVA-1. I'm soon going to do a shadow retention test to see how much you can underexpose it and bring it back up and still have it usable. I have not edited the video yet, as you can see I'm still outside, but as soon as I do edit the video I'll see how much you can bring down the highlights. Just by looking at the waveforms alone you still have data about 4 stops over, I just want to see how it retains that and when it starts breaking down because it is a 10-bit codec and won't break down as fast as say a Canon C200 or maybe a Canon 5D or something else you're working with, maybe like a, I think the GH5 does 10-bit internal something, so that could be pretty good too, but this has the V gamut, color science or color space, whatever, so that's why I prefer it over the GH5, but anyways, this has 10-bit, so it shouldn't break down as fast, but I am used to 12-bit with the Alexa and also the Ursa Mini Pro. So I want I want to see you want to see I want to see if this is gonna break down noticeably faster or maybe it'll break down a little bit less I don't even know I don't push my grades too far so testing this and seeing how well to do in highlights is gonna be a good thing for me because sometimes it's like this and there's the sky and there's the face and there's like the sidey light that's like really yeah that's really like shadowy so we'll see how this camera lasts and. I'll just have captions to say how it's going. Thanks for watching the video. Like it if you like, subscribe if you want more. If you want to see anything specific about this camera, the handling, the low light test, which I'm going to do, anything else, just let me know. I'll make a video about it. Till the next one, later guys.